Hey, what's going on? So we got back last night, 1192 mile round trip um, to Texas and back. It was awesome. I definitely learned a lot. Um, there's a lot of creators out there that make this look really easy. I don't know how they do it, so I'm gonna figure it out, but uh, I definitely learned some stuff uh, on this trip and I need to figure that out. Uh, definitely need to learn a little bit of time management. I can't take such a, a long trip in such a short amount of time and expect to get to where I wanna go and see what I wanna see. But I mean, I'm still glad we went. I'm still glad I got to go down there. Uh, we had a good time. Uh, you know, basically it was 1192 mile trip to Texas for a cup of gumbo and three beers. Uh, and got there, uh, it was in, in the evening. Uh, I had to put up tent at night and we got that going. Uh, got to listen to some local bands play. That was a good time. Had me a couple drinks. And then had to get up in the morning and come home because it was, it really was a, a long ride. And so, yeah, a little bit of time management. Uh, I, I think I planned a little bit too much on the route because I definitely was trying to stay away from the interstates and you know, uh, I was still wanting to stop at different Harley shops, you know, because I really do enjoy swag time, man. I, I, I enjoy picking up them patches because I like to display them at my home. I like the, the poker chips because I'm thinking about uh, how I'm gonna display those because I just, I've got so many of them just sitting around. Uh, and I know it shouldn't be all about the destination, and it shouldn't be all about the route. So what I've got to do is figure out a, a, a good balance between the two. But I mean, I mean, we had, a, I, I had a blast. I know I had a blast. I know, I know that I was wore out. We was coming through Muskogee, Oklahoma last night on the way home and my body was tired. I mean, I could definitely feel that my body was, I, I can feel it in my head right now. I mean, I got this head cold that just doesn't want to go away. But uh, we pulled into Hideout Harley Davidson over in Joplin, Missouri, cause that is my home shop. And I mean, I, I really enjoy going up and, and, and talking to them guys and gals up there and, and uh, you know, just telling stories. And it's, it's just, I just love that feeling when you pull into somewhere like that, you know, back into your home shop or your own driveway or you hit your hometown and, and all that stuff going on, you know, as far as you being tired, being wore out, your back's hurting, you don't, you know, you're just, you're just ready for it to be done. You're ready to get back. And then as soon as you pull into the driveway or into that shop, immediately you start smiling and you're like, and you forget, man. You, you, you forget about all that stuff that had been going on. You forget about the pain. You forget about the, the, the rain. You forget about, oh, just being tired and just wanting to get home. Be like, man, we still got, you know, 200 more miles or 400 more miles or whatever it is you know you still got all that time left and you're like oh what is going on and then you know i mean it it does i mean it just instantly melts away and and that feel of pride to know that you just you just you just did it man you just had one heck of a weekend and now you know you're gonna go home get you a shower you're gonna feel good and you're gonna get up, man, and you're gonna go to work on Monday, and you got that story to tell your buddies. Be like, hey, man, guess what I just did? Well, I don't, I don't know. What'd you just do, dude? I just drove 1,192 miles down into Texas to go to this little cook-off rally that they got going on down there. It took me all day to get there, and then you tell the story and be like, basically, I went 1,192 miles for a, a really good cup of gumbo and three beers. And they're like, what? What, 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 what did you just do? 1,192 miles for a cup of gumbo and three beers. They're like, you're crazy. I'm like, yeah, but look at me, I feel good. And you got a shitty case of the Mondays, you know? And, and, and that's how it goes, I guess. But I don't know, I had a blast. I know that, um, uh, the weather, the weather down in central Texas and southern Oklahoma 
uh, was not great. Uh, it wasn't terrible by no means. I've had a lot worse rides, but there is a lot of flooding going on down there right now, and it wouldn't take very much more rain, and a lot of highways and interstates would probably get shut down. Uh, there was a lot of water down there, so hopefully, hopefully their fields stay wet, but the roads stay dry. Uh, you know, uh, there ain't nothing wrong with some rain. They got uh, we got to grow them crops and and feed our cattle and and so hopefully hopefully they get a little break on the weather down there and and everything gets better for them. But uh, yeah, I need uh, I just got done unpacking all my stuff. I'm about to head in the house, uh, relax a little bit, and then I'm gonna end up getting out here. Uh, my bike is trashed. Uh, it, it is trashed. Uh, I'm gonna have a lot of cleaning to do. I hate being that guy, but there's so many people that uh, just. I mean, I like a clean bike. I mean, they look good, and but this thing is trashed, and so I'm gonna I'm gonna do a little bit of cleaning. We'll take a look at that. You know. Oh yeah, just just road grime. Just just we're gonna get off here. Uh, I appreciate you guys following me, going with me on this trip. Uh, I'm going to get better. Everything takes practice. Uh, nobody's uh, great at anything right out of the gate. Uh, I'm gonna learn from my mistakes. I'm gonna make some tweaks, and uh, I'm gonna try to, uh, yeah, try to make the content a little bit more exciting. So anyway, like, share, tweet, do whatever the hell it is you got to do, but give me them thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment down below, and uh, tell me. I mean, if you got some, uh, know of a, a, a small rally somewhere or uh, a really cool festival that, that's popping up in maybe your hometown somewhere, I'd like to go check it out, man, because, I mean, it is these little towns that, uh, that make America, man. Those are the people that are out there doing the jobs that's making this country so great. That's where they people come from, you know? So uh, let me know. Have a good day, YouTube.